Here's another interesting one, right? Um, the, 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 the deputy, deputy, pre, deputy minister to uh, minister of electricity is from the DA, right? Now, um, they, it, it has been said that just because the introduction of a person from EDA, now they will help the country, uh, the local, they will help end load shedding. Hey. <laughs> what do you call that? Like, tell me, what do you call that? Listen to this one. New deputy, mini, look, new deputy electricity minister ready to help end load shedding. Her name is Samantha Graham Meyer. The new deputy minister of electricity and energy hopes she can help and she can help minister uh, uh, Ramachopa to end load shedding. First of all, you see, the problem is load shedding is not a, pr a problem here. The problem is the will to end load shedding. Right. That's the first thing. Two, it's not like South Africa doesn't have enough power south africa has enough power to you know what i'm saying so what is she going to do that will end low trading i honestly don't find i don't find anything there like for me there's nothing there hello there's really nothing um i mean she's just like me and you what special skill does she have that it can end low trading? That's another way to look at it. Uh, uh, local. <laughs> I don't know, maybe when people are from ETA, they suddenly have mysterious power that we don't know about, which helps them end low trading. Otherwise, she's just Everybody else, she does not have a, a special look. What skills does she have? Maybe we are about to find out that she's probably an electrical engineer. You, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. But other, otherwise, we will see. Well, before we get into know what, uh, how is she planning to end to help uh, 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 local minister of electricity? Well, this is what you need to help me do. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people, because to subscribe it is free, to like the video it is free, to comment in the comment section below it is free of charge, to click the notification bell it is free of charge, to share this video it is free of charge, to watch this video until the end it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean come on, to watch the ads it's free of charge and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the super thanks party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay graham maya is one of six deputy ministers from it local from from the da appointed by who presents ramaphosa under the new national unit look new government of national unity in her role graham May I will work closely with Electricity Minister uh, Ramachopa, the Minister of Electricity. Before her recent appointment, she served as a DA Shadow Minister of Electricity, raised concern about the, the measures taken to local to shield ministers from lo, sorry, from low trading. Sorry, guys. I don't know what's going on. Speaking to SAPC News, outside Cape Town International Convention Center, Graham's mayor said she is eager to work with Uramakhopa to ensure reliable electricity supply for all South Africans. She said, if we have the information that we need, uh, it makes it so much easier for us to understand what is happening. To do the oversight that is required, to ensure there is proper accountability, and to ensure there is no corruption, particularly when dealing with someone like ESCOM. 
or something like ESCOM, not someone like ESCOM, something like ESCOM. I mean, part of my concern around why we no longer have low trading is because there is no more sabotage. Oh, there you go. So we had low trading because there was a sabotage. Who was sabotaging low trading? Local, local, local ESCOM. We'll continue with what you said. Who was sabotaging ESCOM? Why I'm saying that, you must remember that people who are supplying ESCOM, the companies that are supplying ESCOM, are companies from the very same white people. So does it mean that when they saw that there was going to be other white people or supervising ES, local ESCOM, they suddenly decided not to do their corruption because the corruption at ESCOM was from the very same white companies who has been there for years. So when you say corruption, what are you actually referring to? Because you must understand the history of ESCOM for you to say. You know, Guptas were never a big deal at ESCOM. They had a small onion portion at ESCOM. The larger portion remained with white people with their evergreen contract. So let's continue reading what she said. She says, so we can get into the environment and we can make the inquiries that, need to, that we need to make. We will have a better understanding of where where we are and now and how can we make the country go forward that's what she said um south africans have experienced lo local uh south africans have not experienced low trading for over three months so suddenly you have unkept electricity now the thing is that uh they have been sewn into the office today about minister of electricity the problem is, the, the problem is, now that everything is done, no trading chances I will be back. But it's not what I say. Don't quote me. <laughs> okay. She said, continue to say, now that I am on the, uh, on the other side, I will have the opportunity to actually find out what is going on and make sure that we get the answers that we've been asking for so long, Graham says. So I think... There is a different dynamics in that respect, which is which is that we will have access to answers without having to keep asking for them. And I'm looking forward to look, I'm looking forward to working with him. I think we are going to have a great amount of energy in this portfolio. We get along very well. I think it is going to be uh, it's going to be a very cheerful portfolio because both of us enjoy the new people and inter acting so i am excited about what we can look what we can do to bring about a change in this portfolio okay um i don't have a problem you're gonna work um you are willing to work uh, with ura Mahopa. no problem at all no questions asked about that the question is if load shedding is gonna be ended just because of the introduction of such people the question is that we need to be asking is what type of skills do you have to end low trading? Because if we look, follow ETA and the things that the very TA has been saying, we will take ETA from its own words. DA has been talking about corruption, uh, people who are not qualified to serve in certain positions. What qualification as per DA statement, what qualification is she bringing? To end low trading gua as calm. That's just the simple yet basic fundamental question if you want to ask. Would, what skill are you bringing? What type of skill? Ura Mahopa, if I'm mistaken, he's a civil engineer, right? And uh, it's also one of the things that now Naoji must be questioned. Ugut, you've got Umachela Koko as an engineer. Um, uh, you know what I'm saying? This civil engineer couldn't end low trading for a period, for over this year's only ended low trading because of Ama uh, elections. Uh, now that Ama um, elections are over, there was an article, by the way, uh, two articles that are important. One comes from a business tech that says that uh, there's, there's, there's a warning that says a local low trading might, might, might come back, right? And then not long ago, I think it is Times Life, I, look, I, I spoke about it on one of my videos. We were told that uh, there are two two power stations that have been synchronized to the ESCOM system, which produced uh, an extra 8,000 8, megawatts has been produced as well or added into this thing. 
Today, a minister of electricity was speaking, interviewed. He said that the reason other people are experiencing load shedding and load reduction is there's got nothing to do with ESCOM. It has all has to do with municipal infrastructure.